daughters, thine elder and thy younger, and I will give them unto thee for daughters, but not by thy covenant. And I will establish my covenant with thee, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord, that thou mayest remember and be confounded, and never open thy mouth any more because of thy shame, when I am pacified toward thee for all that thou hast done, saith the Lord God. Ezekiel chapter 17 and the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, put forth a riddle, and speak a parable unto the house of Israel, and say, Thus saith the Lord God, A great eagle with great wings, long-winged, full of feathers which had diverse colors, came unto Lebanon, and took the highest branch of the cedar. He cropped off the top of his young twigs, and carried it into a land of traffic. He set it in a city of merchants. He took also of the seed of the land, and planted it in a fruitful field. He placed it by great waters, and set it as a willow tree. And it grew, and became a spreading vine of low stature, whose branches turned toward him, and the roots thereof were under him. So it became a vine, and brought forth branches, and shot forth sprigs. There was also another great eagle with great wings and many feathers, and behold, this vine did bend her roots toward him, and shot forth her branches toward him, that he might water it by the furrows of her plantation. It was planted in a good soil by great waters, that it might bring forth branches, and that it might bear fruit, that it might be a goodly vine. Say thou, thus saith the Lord God, Shall it prosper? Shall he not pull up the roots thereof, and cut off the fruit thereof, that it wither? It shall wither in all the leaves of her spring, even without great power, or many people to pluck it up by the roots thereof. Yea, behold, being planted, shall it prosper? Shall it not utterly wither when the east wind toucheth it? It shall wither in the furrows where it grew. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Say now to the rebellious house, Know ye not what these things mean? Tell them. Behold, the king of Babylon is come to Jerusalem, and hath taken the king thereof, and the princes thereof, and led them with him to Babylon, and hath taken of the king's seed, and made a covenant with him, and hath taken an oath of him, he hath also taken the mighty of the land, that the kingdom might be base, that it might not lift itself up, but that by keeping of his covenant it might stand. But he rebelled against him in sending his ambassadors into Egypt, that they might give him horses and much people. Shall he prosper? Shall he escape that doeth such things? Or shall he break the covenant and be delivered? As I live, saith the Lord God, surely in the place where the king dwelleth that made him king, whose oath he despised and whose covenant he break, even with him in the midst of Babylon he shall die. Neither shall Pharaoh with his mighty army and great company make for him in the war by casting up mounts and building forts to cut off many persons, seeing he despised the oath by breaking the covenant, when, lo, he had given his hand, and hath done all these things, he shall not escape. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, As I live, surely mine oath that he hath despised, and my covenant that he hath broken, even it will I recompense upon his own head. And I will spread my net upon him, and he shall be taken in my snare. And I will bring him to Babylon, and will plead with him there for his trespass that he hath trespassed against me. And all his fugitives with all his bands shall fall by the sword, and they that remain shall be scattered toward all winds. And ye shall know that I the Lord have spoken it. Thus saith the Lord God, 
I will also take of the highest branch of the high cedar and will set it. I will crop off from the top of his young twigs a tender one, and will plant it upon an high mountain and eminent. In the mountain of the height of Israel will I plant it, and it shall bring forth boughs and bear fruit and be a goodly cedar. And under it shall dwell all fowl of every wing. In the shadow of the branches thereof shall they dwell. And all the trees of the field shall know that I, the Lord, have brought down the high tree, have exalted the low tree, have dried up the green tree, and have made the dry tree to flourish. I, the Lord, have spoken and have done it. Ezekiel Chapter 18 The word of the Lord came unto me again, saying, What mean ye that ye use this proverb concerning the land of Israel, saying, The fathers have eaten the sour word of grapes, the Lord and the children's teeth again. are set on edge. As I live, saith the Lord God, ye shall not have occasion any more to use this proverb in Israel. Behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. But if a man be just, and do that which is lawful and right, and hath not eaten upon the mountains, neither hath lifted up his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel, neither hath defiled his neighbor's wife, neither hath come near to a menstruous woman, and hath not oppressed any, but hath restored to the debtor his pledge, hath spoiled none by violence, hath given his bread to the hungry, and hath covered the naked with a garment. He that hath not given forth upon usury, neither hath taken any increase, that hath withdrawn his hand from iniquity, hath executed true judgment between man and man, hath walked in my statutes, and hath kept my judgments to deal truly. He is just. He shall surely live, saith the Lord God. If he beget a son that is a robber, a shedder of blood, and that doeth the like to any one of these things, and that doeth not any of those duties, but even hath eaten upon the mountains, and defiled his neighbor's wife, hath oppressed the poor and needy, hath spoiled by violence, hath not restored the pledge, and hath lifted up his eyes to the idols, hath committed abomination, hath given forth upon usury, and hath taken increase, shall he then live? He shall not live. He hath done all these abominations, he shall surely die. His blood shall be upon him. Now, lo, if he beget a son that seeth all his father's sins which he hath done, and considereth and, and doeth not him. such like, that hath now, not eaten lo, upon the mountains, he neither hath lifted up his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel, hath not defiled his neighbor's wife, neither hath oppressed any, hath not withholden the pledge, neither hath spoiled by violence, but hath given his bread to the hungry and hath covered the naked with a garment, that hath taken off his hand from the poor, that hath not received usury nor increase, hath executed my judgments, hath walked in my statutes. He shall not die for the iniquity of his father, he shall surely live. As for his father, because he cruelly oppressed, spoiled his brother by violence, and did that which is not good among his people, lo, even he shall die in his iniquity. Yet say ye, why? Doth not the son bear the iniquity of the father? When the son hath done that which is lawful and right, and hath kept all my statutes, and hath done them, he shall surely live. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father, neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. 
But if the wicked will turn from all his sins that he hath committed and keep all my statutes and, and do that which is lawful and right, upon he shall surely live. But if the wicked will turn from die. all his sins and all his transgressions that he hath committed, they shall not be mentioned unto him. Right. In his righteousness that he hath done, he shall live. Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die, saith the Lord God, unto him, and not that he should return from his ways and live? But when the righteous turneth away from his righteousness, and committeth iniquity, and doeth according to all the abominations that the wicked man doeth, shall he live? All his righteousness that he hath done shall not be mentioned. In his trespass that he hath trespassed, and in his sin that he hath sinned, in them shall he die. Yet ye say, The way of the Lord is not equal. Hear now, O house of Israel, is not my way equal? Are not your ways unequal? When a righteous man turneth away from his righteousness, and committeth iniquity, and dieth in them, for his iniquity that he hath done shall he die. Again, when the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness that he hath committed, and doeth that which is lawful and right, he shall save his soul alive. Because he considereth and turneth away from all his transgressions that he hath committed, he shall surely save his soul alive. Yet saith the house of Israel, The way of the Lord is not equal. O house of Israel, are not my ways equal? Are not your ways unequal? Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel, every one according to his ways, saith the Lord God. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so iniquity shall not be your ruin. Cast away from you all your transgressions whereby ye have transgressed, and make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, saith the Lord God. Wherefore turn yourselves and live ye. For I have no pleasure in the Ezekiel, death of him that dieth, saith the Lord God. Wherefore, Moreover, turn your take thou up a lamentation for the princes of Israel, and say, for What is no thy mother, Ezekiel, a lioness? She lay down among lions, she Moreover, nourished her whelps among young lions, and, the and she brought up one of her whelps, what it became a young mother, lion, Ezekiel, and it learned to catch the prey. She lay down among it lions, devoured she men. nourished her whelps, the nations also lions. heard of him, and he was taken in their pit, and they brought him with chains unto the land of Egypt, the prey. Now when she saw that she had waited, and her hope was lost, then she took another of her whelps, and made him a young lion, and he went up and down among the lions, he became a young lion, and learned to catch the prey, and devoured men, and made him, and he knew their desolate palaces, and he laid waste their cities, and the land was desolate, and the fullness thereof by the noise of his glory. And 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 then the nations set against him on every side from their provinces, and spread their net over him, and the he was taken in their pit. And they put him in ward in chains, and brought him to the king of Babylon. They brought him into holes that his voice should no more be heard upon the mountains of Israel. Thy mother is like a vine in thy blood, planted by the waters. She was fruitful and full of branches by reason of many waters. And she had strong rods for the scepters of them that bear rule, and her stature was exalted among the thick branches. And she appeared in her height with the multitude of her branches. But she was plucked up in fury, she was cast down to the ground, and the east wind dried up her fruit, and she appeared in her height with the multitude of her branches. The fire consumed them in fury. Now she is planted in the wilderness in a dry and thirsty ground, and fire is gone out of 
have a rod of her branches which has devoured her fruit, so that she has no strong rod to be a scepter to rule. This is a lamentation, and shall be for a lamentation which has devoured her fruit, so that she has no strong rod to be a scepter to rule. And it came to pass in the seventh year, in the fifth month, the tenth day of the month, that certain of the elders of Israel came to inquire of the Lord and sat before me. Then came the word of the Lord unto me, saying, That son of man, speak unto the elders of Israel and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Then are ye come to inquire of me, saying, As I live, saith the Lord God, I will not be inquired of by you. Thus saith the Lord God, thou judge them, son of man? Wilt thou judge them? Cause them to know the abominations of their fathers, and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, In the day when I chose Israel, and lifted up mine hand unto the seed of the house of Jacob, and made myself known unto them in the land of Egypt, when I lifted up mine hand unto them, saying, I am the Lord your God, to the seed of the house of Jacob, in the day that I lifted up mine hand unto them, them, to, them, to bring them the forth of the land of Egypt into a land that I had espied for them, flowing with milk God, and honey, which is the glory the of all lands. My hand unto then them, said to I them unto them, of the land Cast of Egypt, ye away every man the abominations of his eyes, and defile not yourselves with the idols of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. But they rebelled against me, and would not hearken unto me. They did not every man cast away the abominations of their eyes, neither did they forsake the idols of Egypt. Then I said, I will pour out my fury upon them to accomplish my anger against them in the midst of the land of Egypt. Forsake the idols of Egypt. But I wrought for my name's sake that it should not be polluted before the heathen, among whom they were, in whose sight I made myself known unto them in bringing them forth out of the land of Egypt. Wherefore I caused them to go forth out of the land of Egypt and brought them into the wilderness. And I gave them my statutes and showed them my judgments, which if a man do, he shall even live in them. Moreover also I gave them my Sabbaths, to be a sign between me and them, that they might know that I am the Lord that sanctify them. But the house of Israel rebelled against me in the wilderness. They walked not in my statutes, and they despised my judgments, which if a man do, he shall even live in them. And my Sabbaths they greatly polluted. Then I said I would pour out my fury upon them in the wilderness to consume them. But I wrought for my name's sake that it should not be polluted before the heathen in whose sight I brought them out. Yet also I lifted up my hand unto them in the wilderness that I would not bring them into the land which I had given them, flowing with milk and honey, which is the glory of all lands because they despised my judgments, and walked not in my statutes, but polluted my Sabbaths, for their heart went after their idols. Nevertheless, mine eye spared them from destroying them, neither did I make an end of them in the wilderness. But I said unto their children in the wilderness, Walk ye not in the statutes of your fathers, neither observe their judgments, nor defile yourselves with their idols. I am the Lord your God. Walk in my statutes, and keep my judgments, and do them. And hallow my Sabbaths, and they shall be a sign between me and you, that ye may know that I am the Lord your God. Notwithstanding, the children rebelled against me. They walked not in my statutes, neither kept my judgments to do them, which if a man do, he shall even live in them. They polluted my Sabbaths. Then I said I would pour out my fury upon them, to accomplish my anger against them in the wilderness. 
Nevertheless, I withdrew mine hand, and wrought for my name's sake, that it should not be polluted in the sight of the heathen, in whose sight I brought them forth. I lifted up mine hand unto them also in the wilderness, that I would scatter them among the heathen, and disperse them through the countries, because they had not executed my judgments, but had despised my statutes, and had polluted my sabbaths, and their eyes were after their father's idols. Wherefore I gave them also statutes that were not good, and judgments whereby they should not live. And I polluted them in their own gifts, in that they caused to pass through the fire all that openeth the womb, that I might make them desolate, to the end that they might know that I am the Lord. Therefore, son of man, speak unto the house of Israel, and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Yet in this your fathers have blasphemed me, in that they have committed a trespass against me. For when I had brought them into the land, for the which I lifted up mine hand to give it to them, then they saw every high hill, and all the thick trees, and they offered there their sacrifices. And there they presented the provocation of their offering. There also they made their sweet savor, and poured out there their drink offerings. Then I said unto them, What is the high place whereunto ye go? And the name thereof is called Bema unto this day. Wherefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord God, are ye polluted after the manner of your fathers, and commit ye whoredom after their abominations? For when ye offer your gifts, when ye make your sons to pass through the fire, ye pollute yourselves with all your idols even unto this day. And shall I be inquired of by you, O house of Israel? As I live, saith the Lord God, I will not be inquired of by you. And that which cometh into your mind shall not be at all that ye say, We will be as the heathen, as the families of the countries, to serve wood and stone. As I live, saith the Lord God, surely with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out will I rule over you. And I will bring you out from the people and will gather you out of the countries wherein ye are scattered with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out. And I will bring you into the wilderness of the people, and there will I plead with you face to face. Like as I pleaded with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Egypt, so will I plead with you, saith the Lord God. And I will cause you to pass under the rod, and I will bring you into the bond of the covenant. And I will purge out from among you the rebels and them that transgress against me. I will bring them forth out of the country where they sojourn, and they shall not enter into the land of Israel, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. As for you, O house of Israel, thus saith the Lord God, Go ye, serve ye every one his idols, and hereafter also if ye will not hearken unto me. But pollute ye my holy name no more with your gifts and with your idols. For in mine holy mountain, in the mountain of the height of Israel, saith the Lord God, there shall all the house of Israel, all of them in the land serve me. There will I accept them, and there will I require your offerings, and the first fruits of your oblations with all your holy things. I will accept you with your sweet savor when I bring you out from the people and gather you out of the countries wherein ye have been scattered, and I will be sanctified in you before the heathen. And ye shall know that I am the Lord when I shall bring you into the land of Israel, into the country for the which I lifted up mine hand to give it to your fathers. 
And there shall ye remember your ways and all your doings wherein ye have been defiled. And ye shall loathe yourselves in your own sight for all your evils that ye have committed. And ye shall know that I am the Lord when I have wrought with you for my name's sake, not according to your wicked ways, nor according to your corrupt doings, O ye house of Israel, saith the Lord God. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face toward the south, and drop thy word toward the south, and prophesy against the forest of the south field, and say to the forest of the south, Hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will kindle a fire in thee, and it shall devour every green tree in thee, and every dry tree. The flaming flame shall not be quenched, and all faces from the south to the north shall be burned therein. And all flesh shall see that I, the Lord, have kindled it. It shall not be quenched. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, they say of me, Doth he not speak parables? Ezekiel chapter 21 And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face toward Jerusalem, and drop thy word toward the holy places, and prophesy against the land of Israel, and say to the land of Israel, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I am against thee, and will draw forth my sword out of his sheath, and will cut off from thee the righteous and the wicked. Seeing then that I will cut off from thee the righteous and the wicked, therefore shall my sword go forth out of his sheath against all flesh from the south to the north, that all flesh may know that I the Lord have drawn forth my sword out of his sheath. It shall not return any more. Sigh, therefore, thou son of man, with the breaking of thy loins, and with bitterness sigh before their eyes. And it shall be when they say unto thee, Wherefore sighest thou, that thou shalt answer, For the tidings, because it cometh, and every heart shall melt, and all hands shall be feeble, and every spirit shall faint, and all knees shall be weak as water. Behold, it cometh, and shall be brought to pass, saith the Lord God. Again the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, Say, A sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? It contemneth the rod of my son as every tree. And he hath given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. Cry and howl, son of man, for it shall be upon my people, it shall be upon all the princes of Israel. Terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Smite therefore upon thy thigh, because it is a trial, and what if the sword contemn even the rod? It shall be no more, saith the Lord God. Thou therefore, son of man, prophesy, and smite thine hands together, and let the sword be doubled the third time, the sword of the slain. It is the sword of the great men that are slain, which entereth into their privy chambers. I have set the point of the sword against all their gates, that their heart may faint, and their ruins be multiplied. Is made bright, it is wrapped up for the slaughter. Go thee one way or other, either on the right hand or on the left, whithersoever thy face is set. I will also smite mine hands together, and I will cause my fury to rest. I, the Lord, have said it. The word of the Lord came unto me again, saying, 
Also, thou son of man, appoint thee two ways, that the sword of the king of Babylon may come. Both twain shall come forth out of one land, and choose thou a place. Choose it at the head of the way to the city. Appoint a way that the sword may come to Rabbath of the Ammonites, and to Judah in Jerusalem the defensed. For the king of Babylon stood at the parting of the way, at the head of the two ways, to use divination. He made his arrows bright, he consulted with images, he looked in the liver. At his right hand was the divination for Jerusalem, to appoint captains, to open the mouth in the slaughter, to lift up the voice with shouting, to appoint battering rams against the gates, to cast a mount and to build a fort. And it shall be unto them as a false divination in their sight, to them that have sworn oaths, but he will call to remembrance the iniquity that they may be taken. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Because ye have made your iniquity to be remembered, in that your transgressions are discovered, so that in all your doings your sins do appear, because, I say, that ye are come to remembrance, ye shall be taken with the hand. And thou, profane, wicked prince of Israel, whose day is come when iniquity shall have an end, thus saith the Lord God, Remove the diadem, and take off the crown. This shall not be the same. Exalt him that is low, and abase him that is high. I will overturn, overturn, overturn it, and it shall be no more until he come whose right it is. I will give it him. And thou, son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord God concerning the Ammonites and concerning their reproach. Even say thou, The sword, the sword is drawn, for the slaughter it is furbished, to consume because of the glittering. Whilst they see vanity unto thee, whilst they divine a lie unto thee, to bring thee upon the necks of them that are slain, of the wicked whose day is come, when their iniquity shall have an end. Shall I cause it to return into his sheath? I will judge thee in the place where thou wast created, in the land of thy nativity. And I will pour out mine indignation upon thee. I will blow against thee in the fire of my wrath, and deliver thee into the hand of brutish men, and skillful to destroy. Thou shalt be for fuel to the fire. Thy blood shall be in the midst of the land. Thou shalt be no more remembered. For I, the Lord, have spoken it. Ezekiel chapter 22 Moreover the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Now, thou son of man, wilt thou judge? Wilt thou judge the bloody city? Yea, thou shalt show her all her abominations. Then say thou, Thus saith the Lord God, The city sheddeth blood in the midst of it, that her time may come, and maketh idols against herself to defile herself. Thou art become guilty in thy blood that thou hast shed, and hast defiled thyself in thine idols which thou hast made. And thou hast caused thy days to draw near, and art come even unto thy years. Therefore have I made thee a reproach unto the heathen and a mocking to all countries. Those that be near and those that be far from thee shall mock thee, which art infamous and much vexed. Behold, the princes of Israel, every one were in thee to their power to shed blood. In thee have they set light by father and mother. In the midst of thee have they dealt by oppression with the stranger. In thee have they vexed the fatherless and the widow. Thou hast despised mine holy things, and hast profaned my Sabbaths. In thee are men that carry tales to shed blood, and in thee they eat upon the mountains. In the midst of thee they commit lewdness. In thee have they discovered their father's nakedness. In thee have they humbled her that was set apart for pollution. 
And one hath committed abomination with his neighbor's wife, and another hath lewdly defiled his daughter-in-law. And another in thee hath humbled his sister, his father's daughter. In thee have they taken gifts to shed blood. Thou hast taken usury and increase, and thou hast greedily gained of thy neighbors by extortion, and hast forgotten me, saith the Lord God. Behold, therefore I have smitten mine hand at thy dishonest gain which thou hast made, and at thy blood which hath been in the midst of thee. Can thine heart endure, or can thine hands be strong in the days that I shall deal with thee? I, the Lord, have spoken it, and will do it. And I will scatter thee among the heathen, and disperse thee in the countries, and will consume thy filthiness out of thee. And thou shalt take thine inheritance in thyself, in the sight of the heathen, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, the house of Israel is to me become dross. All they are brass and tin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace. They are even the dross of silver. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Because ye are all become dross, behold, therefore I will gather you into the midst of Jerusalem. As they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it, to melt it, so will I gather you in mine anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. Yea, I will gather you and blow upon you in the fire of my wrath, and ye shall be melted in the midst thereof. As silver is melted in the midst of the furnace, so shall ye be melted in the midst thereof. And ye shall know that I, the Lord, have poured out my fury upon you. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto her, Thou art the land that is not cleansed, nor rained upon in the day of indignation. There is a conspiracy of her prophets in the midst thereof, like a roaring lion ravening the prey. They have devoured souls, they have taken the treasure and precious things. They have made her many widows in the midst thereof. Her priests have violated my law and have profaned mine holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and profane, neither have they showed difference between the unclean and the clean, and have hid their eyes from my Sabbaths, and I am profaned among them. Her princes in the midst thereof are like wolves, ravening the prey to shed blood and to destroy souls to get dishonest gain. And her prophets have daubed them with untempered mortar, seeing vanity and divining lies unto them, saying, Thus saith the Lord God, when the Lord hath not spoken. The people of the land have used oppression and exercised robbery and have vexed the poor and needy. Yea, they have oppressed the stranger wrongfully. And I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land that I should not destroy it. But I found none. Therefore have I poured out mine indignation upon them. I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath. Their own way have I recompensed upon their heads, saith the Lord God. Ezekiel chapter 23 The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, there were two women, the daughters of one mother, and they committed whoredoms in Egypt. They committed whoredoms in their youth. There were their breasts pressed, and there they bruised the teats of their virginity. And the names of them were Ahola the elder, and Aholaba her sister. And they were mine, and they bare sons and daughters. Thus were their names. Samaria is Ahola, and Jerusalem Aholaba. 
And Ahola played the harlot when she was mine, and she doted on her lovers, on the Assyrians, her neighbors, which were clothed with blue, captains and rulers, all of them desirable young men, horsemen riding upon horses. Thus she committed her whoredoms with them, with all them that were the chosen men of Assyria, and with all on whom she doted, with all their idols she defiled herself. Neither left she her whoredoms brought from Egypt, for in her youth they lay with her, and they bruised the breasts of her virginity, and poured their whoredom upon her. Wherefore I have delivered her into the hand of her lovers, into the hand of the Assyrians upon whom she doted. These discovered her nakedness. They took her sons and her daughters and slew her with the sword. And she became famous among women, for they had executed judgment upon her. And when her sister Aholabah saw this, she was more corrupt in her inordinate love than she, and in her whoredoms more than her sister in her whoredoms. She doted upon the Assyrians, her neighbors, captains and rulers, clothed most gorgeously, horsemen riding upon horses, all of them desirable young men. Then I saw that she was defiled, that they took both one way, and that she increased her whoredoms. For when she saw men portrayed upon the wall, the images of the Chaldeans portrayed with vermilion, girded with girdles upon their loins, exceeding in dyed attire upon their heads, all of them princes to look to, after the manner of the Babylonians of Chaldea, the land of their nativity, and as soon as she saw them with her eyes, she doted upon them and sent messengers unto them into Chaldea. And the Babylonians came to her into the bed of love, and they defiled her with their whoredom, and she was polluted with them, and her mind was alienated from them. So she discovered her whoredoms and discovered her nakedness. Then my mind was alienated from her, like as my mind was alienated from her sister. Yet she multiplied her whoredoms in calling to remembrance the days of her youth, wherein she had played the harlot in the land of Egypt. For she doted upon their paramours, whose flesh is as the flesh of asses, and whose issue is like the issue of horses. Thus thou callest to remembrance the lewdness of thy youth, in bruising thy teats by the Egyptians for the paps of thy youth. Therefore, O Aholibah, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will raise up thy lovers against thee, from whom thy mind is alienated, and I will bring them against thee on every side, the Babylonians and all the Chaldeans, Pekud and Shoah and Koah, and all the Assyrians with them, all of them desirable young men, captains and rulers, great lords and renowned, all of them riding upon horses, and they shall come against thee with chariots, wagons, and wheels, and with an assembly of people, which shall set against thee buckler and shield and helmet round about. And I will set judgment before them, and they shall judge thee according to their judgments. And I will set my jealousy against thee, and they shall deal furiously with thee. They shall take away thy nose and thine ears, and thy remnant shall fall by the sword. They shall take thy sons and thy daughters, and thy residue shall be devoured by the fire. They shall also strip thee out of thy clothes, and take away thy fair jewels. Thus will I make thy lewdness to cease from thee, and thy whoredom brought from the land of Egypt, so that thou shalt not lift up thine eyes unto them, nor remember Egypt any more. For thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will deliver thee into the hand of them whom thou hatest, into the hand of them from whom thy mind is alienated. And they shall deal with thee hatefully, and shall take away all thy labor, and shall leave thee naked and bare. And the nakedness of thy whoredoms shall be discovered, both thy lewdness and thy whoredoms. 
I will do these things unto thee because thou hast gone a whoring after the heathen, and because thou art polluted with their idols. Thou hast walked in the way of thy sister, therefore will I give her cup into thine hand. Thus saith the Lord God, Thou shalt drink of thy sister's cup deep and large. Thou shalt be laughed to scorn and had in derision. It containeth much. Thou shalt be filled with drunkenness and sorrow, with the cup of astonishment and desolation, with the cup of thy sister Samaria. Thou shalt even drink it and suck it out, and thou shalt break the sherds thereof, and pluck off thine own breasts. For I have spoken it, saith the Lord God. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Because thou hast forgotten me, and cast me behind thy back, therefore bear thou also thy lewdness and thy whoredoms. The Lord said moreover unto me, Son of man, wilt thou judge Ahola and Aholabah? Yea, declare unto them their abominations, that they have committed adultery, and blood is in their hands. And with their idols have they committed adultery, and have also caused their sons, whom they bear unto me, to pass for them through the fire to devour them. Moreover this they have done unto me. They have defiled my sanctuary in the same day, and have profaned my Sabbaths. For when they had slain their children to their idols, then they came the same day into my sanctuary to profane it. And lo, thus have they done in the midst of mine house. And furthermore, that ye have sent for men to come from far, unto whom a messenger was sent. And lo, they came. For whom thou didst wash thyself, paintest thy eyes, and deckest thyself with ornaments, and sattest upon a stately bed, and a table prepared before it, whereupon thou hast set mine incense and mine oil. And a voice of a multitude being at ease was with her, and with the men of the common sort were brought Sabaeans from the wilderness, which put bracelets upon their hands, and beautiful crowns upon their heads. Then said I unto her that was old in adulteries, Will they now commit whoredoms with her, and she with them? Yet they went in unto her, as they go in unto a woman that playeth the harlot. So went they in unto Ahola, and unto Aholabah the lewd women. And the righteous men, they shall judge them after the manner of adulteresses, and after the manner of women that shed blood, because they are adulteresses, and blood is in their hands. For thus saith the Lord God, I will bring up a company upon them, and will give them to be removed and spoiled. And the company shall stone them with stones, and dispatch them with their swords. They shall slay their sons and their daughters, and burn up their houses with fire. Thus will I cause lewdness to cease out of the land, that all women may be taught not to do after your lewdness. And they shall recompense your lewdness upon you. And ye shall bear the sins of your idols, and ye shall know that I am the Lord God. Ezekiel chapter 24 Again in the ninth year, in the tenth month, in the tenth day of the month, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, write thee the name of the day, even of this same day. The king of Babylon set himself against Jerusalem this same day. And utter a parable unto the rebellious house, and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Set on a pot, set it on, and also pour water into it. Gather the pieces thereof into it, even every good piece, the thigh and the shoulder. Fill it with the choice bones. Take the choice of the flock, and burn also the bones under it, and make it boil well, and let them seethe the bones of it therein. Wherefore thus saith the Lord God, Woe to the bloody city, to the pot whose scum is therein, and whose scum is not gone out of it. Bring it out piece by piece, let no lot fall upon it. 
For her blood is in the midst of her. She set it upon the top of a rock. She poured it not upon the ground to cover it with dust, that it might cause fury to come up to take vengeance. I have set her blood upon the top of a rock, that it should not be covered. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Woe to the bloody city! I will even make the pile for fire great. Heap on wood, kindle the fire, consume the flesh, and spice it well, and let the bones be burned. Then set it empty upon the coals thereof, that the brass of it may be hot and may burn, and that the filthiness of it may be molten in it, that the scum of it may be consumed. She hath wearied herself with lies, and her great scum went not forth out of her. Her scum shall be in the fire. In thy filthiness is lewdness. Because I have purged thee, and thou wast not purged, thou shalt not be purged from thy filthiness any more, till I have caused my fury to rest upon thee. I, the Lord, have spoken it. It shall come to pass, and I will do it. I will not go back, neither will I spare, neither will I repent. According to thy ways and according to thy doings shall they judge thee, saith the Lord God. Also the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, behold, I take away from thee the desire of thine eyes with a stroke. Yet neither shalt thou mourn nor weep, neither shall thy tears run down. Forbear to cry, make no mourning for the dead. Bind the tire of thine head upon thee, and put on thy shoes upon thy feet, and cover not thy lips, and eat not the bread of men. So I spake unto the people in the morning, and at even my wife died. And I did in the morning as I was commanded. And the people said unto me, Wilt thou not tell us what these things are to us, that thou doest so? Then I answered them. The word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Speak unto the house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will profane my sanctuary, the excellency of your strength, the desire of your eyes, and that which your soul pitieth. And your sons and your daughters whom ye have left shall fall by the sword. And ye shall do as I have done. Ye shall not cover your lips, nor eat the bread of men. And your tires shall be upon your heads, and your shoes upon your feet. Ye shall not mourn nor weep, but ye shall pine away for your iniquities, and mourn one toward another. Thus Ezekiel is unto you a sign. According to all that he hath done shall ye do. And when this cometh, ye shall know that I am the Lord God. Also thou son of man, shall it not be in the day when I take from them their strength, the joy of their glory, the desire of their eyes, and that whereupon they set their minds, their sons and their daughters? that he that escapeth in that day shall come unto thee, to cause thee to hear it with thine ears. In that day shall thy mouth be opened to him which is escaped, and thou shalt speak and be no more dumb, and thou shalt be a sign unto them, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Ezekiel chapter 25 The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against the Ammonites, and prophesy against them, and say unto the Ammonites, Hear the word of the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God, Because thou saidst, Aha! against my sanctuary when it was profaned, and against the land of Israel when it was desolate, and against the house of Judah when they went into captivity. Behold, therefore I will deliver thee to the men of the east for a possession, and they shall set their palaces in thee, and make their dwellings in thee. They shall eat thy fruit, and they shall drink thy milk. And I will make Rabbah a stable for camels, and the Ammonites a couching place for flocks. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. 
For thus saith the Lord God, Because thou hast clapped thine hands, and stamped with the feet, and rejoiced in heart with all thy despite against the land of Israel, Behold, therefore, I will stretch out mine hand upon thee, and will deliver thee for a spoil to the heathen. And I will cut thee off from the people, and I will cause thee to perish out of the countries. I will destroy thee, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, Because that Moab and Seir do say, Behold, the house of Judah is like unto all the heathen. Therefore, behold, I will open the side of Moab from the cities, from his cities which are on his frontiers, the glory of the country, Beth Jeshemoth, Baal Meon, and Kiriathaim, unto the men of the east with the Ammonites, and will give them in possession, that the Ammonites may not be remembered among the nations. And I will execute judgments upon Moab, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, Because that Edom hath dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, and hath greatly offended and revenged himself upon them, therefore thus saith the Lord God, I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom, and will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it desolate from Teman, and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger, and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God, Because the Philistines have dealt by revenge, and have taken vengeance with a despiteful heart, to destroy it for the old hatred, therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will stretch out mine hand upon the Philistines, and I will cut off the Kerithims, and destroy the remnant of the sea coast. And I will execute great vengeance upon them with furious rebukes, and they shall know that I am the Lord when I shall lay my vengeance upon them. Ezekiel chapter 26 And it came to pass in the eleventh year, in the first day of the month, that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, because that Tyrus hath said against Jerusalem, Aha! She is broken that was the gates of the people. She is turned unto me. I shall be replenished. Now she is laid waste. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O Tyrus, and will cause many nations to come up against thee, as the sea causeth his waves to come up. And they shall destroy the walls of Tyrus, and break down her towers. I will also scrape her dust from her, and make her like the top of a rock. It shall be a place for the spreading of nets in the midst of the sea. For I have spoken it, saith the Lord God, and it shall become a spoil to the nations. And her daughters which are in the field shall be slain by the sword, and they shall know that I am the Lord.